Hey guys, welcome to my Dragon Ball Facebook segment. The first post we got here is from Dragon Ball All Day. It's a cool throwback to the Dragon Ball days. Actually, General Tao has a lot of thug moments. Maybe I'll make a video with all his thug moments soon. Second post here is from Anime or Manga, Comic and Video Game Lovers District Group and is posted by Andrew. It highlights that long one week wait we all have to go through for the next episode. This is something probably all the Dragon Ball fans can relate. Some people store a few episodes, first like they don't watch DBS for 5 weeks straight and then probably finishes 5 episodes at one go. I'm not that type, I can barely wait a week and in the last few hours, every minute feel like an hour. What is your style of watching Dragon Ball Super? Then we have this post from the group from the page Dragon Ball Super about Vegeta and his evil forms from Dragon Ball Z, GT and finally Super. Obviously this copy Vegeta we saw on the last episode of Super is incomparable with Majin Vegeta or Baby Vegeta and it is assumable that this copy will have a lot of limitations. You know Vegeta vs Goku is something everyone wants to see. So the writers try to find a way to make them fight with each other till now it hasn't been possible in Super yet, apart from some training sparing, but this Goku vs Copy Vegeta action that we will get to see on episode 46 will at least be fun to watch. By the way, which one is your favorite? I think Majin Vegeta was absolutely perfect, the script on the English dub was amazing, and the way the entire thing played out. It had good action, motives, and twists. I don't think there's anyone who didn't enjoy it. Comment and let me know which one you like the best and why. You can also consider the Saiyan Saga or Frieza Saga Vegeta as an option. The fourth post from our page, Dragon Ball Fan. It is a fun post about how Toriyama pissed off Vegeta fans. In one sense, it is true. Before Goku combined Kaioken with God form, it looked like Goku and Vegeta is on the same level. But clearly with Kaioken attack, Goku surpassed Vegeta clearly for the time being. Though I'm a huge Vegeta fan, I don't see any problem with that. Dragon Ball has always been like this, Goku surpasses Vegeta, then Vegeta surpasses Goku and it keeps going on. The thing is, whenever Goku surpassed Vegeta, he expresses frustration, so we remember it more. Case not same with Goku. Anyway, Vegeta did the maximum number of got the maximum number of wins from Universe 7 in the tournament. Also, that Kaioken attack would be absolutely useless in a dead battle outside the tournament rules. Vegeta would just have to dodge it and wait till his power drains. And that is exactly what happened even in the tournament, Goku couldn't keep up. So there's a chance for Vegeta to train and reach high levels before Goku masters the form. And even if he masters it, Kaioken will always leave more or less damage on the body, so I won't say Goku has gone too far above in terms of power. I'm going to end this video with this Amazing fan art of Goku and Bardock from Wizakusa. Benjamin commented there Goku should wish back his father. <laughs> As if Goku gives a damn about Bardock. It would be cool, but it will never happen. All the post links have been attached on the description. Do check it out if you have anything to say or any theory or predictions that you want to see get turned into a video. Inbox me on Dragon Ball fans link attached on the description for daily Dragon Ball updates, news, leaks, episode reviews and all kinds of DV stuffs, subscribe to my channel, subscribe and be in touch.